normaux. Peut-être, c'est pas sûr. Mais, euh, hi, anyways, here we go first. A match of the evening is gonna be none other than One More versus Gilgamesh. One More, a very good melee player. I do believe they had, uh, they gave me the honor of playing in previous iterations of the Brojo Cup. And of course, uh, our very own resident, Kentucky Fried resident, living in Japan, Gilgamesh Kai. The very best Anji in the arcades. There is no one as strong as him in the arcades. <laughs> Anyways, here we go on with the first match. And as you can see, Gilgamesh trying to pin one more down. Unfortunately for him, the follow-up of his beautiful dance did not hit its target. And here we go with the punish from one more. Oh, nice YRC from Gilgamesh. Was able to get out of the pressure, but was put back in it right away. One more... Sun still holding on to there. Burst still does not want to give away. Very nice left right mix up. He's gonna get the pickup. Yes, he will. Into the sledge for the kill. Good stuff from one more. Gets the first round. Looking forward to seeing the Japanese players on season three. Oh my lord, man. And you're in for a treat. They've already started to optimize as if their uh, various setups and using the uh, how do you call it? The wild assault and the uh, the other like defensive. Mechanism extremely, extremely, um, well, greatly, basically. So, you're in for a treat, Miss Loop. <laughs> Definitely, you should trust me on that. Very nice uh, grab right there. Yo, Shiho-san, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for, uh, for promoting the Brojo Cup on your, on your, um, on your, uh, Twitter page. It really, really was nice of you. I gave you a follow, by the way. I hope uh, you don't mind. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the deflect shield. Here you go. I need to learn all of these new tropes. I have to be... <laughs> Really, really honest with you guys, I haven't been uh, really working on, on you know, remembering all of the names of the various new mechanics that uh, were just, uh, well, implemented in Season 3, but I'll try to do my best. So, if you see me, like, forgetting or misnaming one of the mechanics, please do not hesitate to tell me, give me a heads up, and uh, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely uh, correct myself. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, just call it Strive Rush. Exactly. <laughs> the Strive Rush. I do remember the Wild Assault because it, it actually sounds really cool. And it actually is exactly what happens. But the Deflect Shield, I'm still not... Is it really Deflect Shield, though? I'm having my... Deflect Shield is such a... Yeah, it is, it is, yeah. Name next... Yeah, I know, right? They should have called it the Wild Shield or something. You know, Wild Shield, Wild Assault. I feel like it would have been easier to remember. Anyways, here we go with Gilgamesh trying to get that first kill, that first round. Go, oh, but gets hit by the 2D. And here we go with one more one is to get the kill. Goes for the command. Uh, the command action goes right over the YRC, man. Is Are they going to get the kill? No. Here we go with Gilgamesh using Anji, who has the highest guts uh, rating in the game. Unfortunately, get scooped by the 2P. Very unfortunate for... Uh, Gilgamesh, and here we go with one more up, 2-2-0, two, two, is Gilgamesh gonna be able to do something to reverse this unfortunate result right now, goes for the closest into the grab, and here we go with, oh, the, oh lord, very nice snaps attempt right there from Gilgamesh, he even baited the freaking burst, and finally Gilgamesh on to his first round win, very nicely done by Gil. Let's see if he can keep it up. Oh, and here we go with the IAD straight into the uh, heavy jump. Very nice double overhead right there from one more. Again with the double overhead. Gilgamesh is not ready to... Oh, Lord, he went for a third time this time. Oh, and here we go, man. The freaking pressure is unending, man. Oh, and the closest. Counter it into the wall break. Here we go with the double positive bonus. Almost got the entire air and got the 2k into the 2d for a perfect one more. Just one more round uh, away from the win in order to uh, get that first round. Very nice follow up right there. Oh, no. Unfortunately for him, the butterfly was not ooh, far enough in order to keep. Oh, they didn't have uh, enough active. Uh, Blocking for again, man. One more. Always calculating exactly at what frame the dent of Gilgamesh is going to end and hitting him out of it right at the perfect freaking timing. Good stuff. And here we go with the cut to forget to know. Oh, I thought it was gonna freaking. I really thought it was gonna whiff. That would have been horrible for Gilgamesh, man. I was so afraid for it. Oh, and here we go with the crow, but no. No. Oh, no. No frame active. No active stream for you, sir. 
And here we go with the Nagiha, but no. Man, one more not giving anything. Oh, not enough to kill, but gets hit by the Psy for the... Uh, for the chip damage, for the chip kill, actually. Gilgamesh finally putting one on the board. Let's see if he can continue in this, uh, in this way. Okay, anyways, we are good here. I'm just checking the, uh... Just one second, guys. Admin. Sorry guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, nobody started. Nobody started their match yet, and wow, one more is again one more round away from getting their first win right there. So let's see how this pans out. Very nice press under, but Gelimesh is ready, unfortunately for him. He is uh, getting opened up left and right not going to lie here we go with the cross oh the cross up again gilgamesh having to yeah endure that no the follow-up oh too far for the follow-up and very nice reflexes right there from one more wow man going very 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 aggressively right now let's see if uh gilgamesh can get something started oh very nice backdash force one more to pop the burst and oh no the rose man for the combo into the kill and one more seals the deal three two anyways on to the next battle bro versus daddy nas daddy nas who hasn't played in a long time in the brojo cup so really looking forward to his performance used to actually uh well he used to actually make top eight very very regularly in the brojo cup so yeah i'm uh, looking forward to how this is going to pan out for him that being said, uh, Jackal, very strong character, especially in Season 3, uh, has received a couple of buffs and uh, the, and also uh, now has access to new game mechanics, which overall um, benefits for already very, very strong uh, pressure game. That being said, Daninas is definitely no slouch, but just as I say this, unfortunately, he gets opened up and loses the first round of this first match, but it's okay, it's just the start. There is nothing to worry about at all. We shall see how this pans out. Okay, nice block right there from Bro. Got one minion on the floor. Uses the wild uh, salt to keep uh, the pressure on going. And here we go with the illusion. Driver. Good stuff from Bro. Gets the wall break. Gonna go for, okay, safe pressure. Well, I'm gonna go for normal pressure and gets the kill with the follow up into uh, the minion hit for the kill. Good stuff from bro. Let's see how this pans up. And on to the next battle. What is Nas gonna do? Unfortunately, he gets hit by the cross up. Again with the cross up. <laughs> wow, and that wild assault into the counter hit. Almost got the juggle. Unfortunately, wasn't quite able to get it. And back into the corner. This is definitely not a place that Daddy Nas wants to be in. Unfortunately for him, he has to deal with not only Jackal, but two uh, minions, but fortunately for him, he was able to uh, pop that uh, wire save, I believe it was, in order to get rid of all three at once. But again, man, relentless bra, relentless assault right there from bra. Again, this is the third Lysian driver that we see in three rounds, actually. So yeah, bra definitely uh, keen on wanting to use it as often as possible. Here we go the 2k2d and again into the freaking corner and you can see bra making good use of the wild assault to immediately close the distance between him and his opponent not only that but wild assault actually drains uh the burst meter of your opponent so if your opponent happens to have full burst gauge and you use the wild assault even on on block you will still happen to burn to um to um uh, well, to, to drain their, their burst meter, which will prevent them from bursting if you actually happen to open them up. So it's a very, very strong mechanic that we can see Bra is really using extremely... Wow, that was a gutsy Axel Bomber right there from Daddy Ness, unfortunately. Or Bra, he is in the corner right there, and no, that was an unfortunately... Oh, that delayed burst, though! Okay, just one more hit. Oh, no, Daddy Ness, she hesitated, he had it! He had it, but Daddy Nas failed to really convert right there. 
was on the on the verge of getting this round. That was unfortunate for him. But it's okay. It's not over till it's over. Not, let's wait uh, to see what happens. I hope. I we hope. I hope that we don't have a uh, a connection error. No, we don't. Okay. All good. All good. Whew. I was afraid. I really don't want a connection error right <laughs> during the second. Uh, what? Ooh, okay. What is going on? I think that Daddy Nas has uh, a, a wrong like uh, configuration. He didn't configure it. His, uh, his his buttons correctly, I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure. I see him like with, uh, how do you call it, with grabs a lot. I don't know if he's either trying to do a wild assault or if he's like misinputting something or if he has like a configuration of, but a button configuration that is not the one that he usually uses. But he seems like a little bit off of it right there, I'm not going to lie. Anyways, there we go, finally, Naz getting something going on, fails to get the OTG there. And it's back to the corner for you, sir. Yeah, that he has pressing buttons where he definitely does not want to. And again, bro, man. Bro, with the freaking wild assault. Like, you can definitely tell that the name of the game during this particular match has been wild assault for bro, using it impeccably in order to keep the pressure on Daddy Nass and preventing him from really getting anything going on. Again, here we go again with the wild assault. Oh, Lord, a little bit too... A little bit too quick right there on the top desk. He tries to get the overhead, but he was too quick for it. And unfortunately, the tap does. Oh, Lord, didn't have enough time to get out uh, in order to hit that. He has, but it's still fine. Bro, definitely has the advantage still. Ooh, that was close. Oh, Lord. Good old 2D, man. Oof. Ah, uh, nope. Oh, Lord, that jump out from Bro, man. He knew it. Oh, and that call out at the end from Bro to block the wire. CNC right in front of the face of uh, her opponent and makes it extremely strong for Eno. So I'm actually, and even Daru, like, things that Eno right now has, uh, has, um, like rose in the tier list of of the game right now thanks to season three and i actually agree with him i really think that Eno is mad strong right now in season three especially since other characters who had moves or mechanics especially moves like property of moves uh that was really problematic for you know for example the dp the hdp of sol or the hdp of uh of kai which used to be uh they used to be how do you call it invincible they're not anymore so right now the opponent has only one way to reversal uh, if they want to reverse or if they want to like use a meterless reversal though it can only resort to using one specific dp and this dp always has the same startup and the same active frames and whatnot so you can actually time you can have consistent like okizeme with you know because what used to happen before is that the hdp of certain characters who were really delayed messed up with uh, the ability for you know to try to uh, use a very specific timing. She, they, uh, the, the Enos had to really uh, care about like two different timings for uh, two different DPS. But now she only needs to worry about one, which is a very, very good thing for for Eno players, in my opinion. Anyways, first match goes to Ice, and yeah, Ice is doing so a good job of containing Cal, man. Holy freaking lord! Let's see how this pans out. On to the second match. Let's see if Cal can actually bring some ooh adjustments right there. Cal definitely like like to use the uh ooh, and here we go with the wild assault from nagoriyuki who uh guard breaks by the way and nagoriyuki benefited from two buffs uh well two buffs benefited from two uh go new guard break uh attacks very nice use of the wild assault which also causes a hard knockdown right now oh a little bit too far in order to get that wall break but it's okay i still seals uh, the deal very nicely done Okay, let's see how this spins out. Ooh, start of the round directly into the Beyblade. Let's see how this spins out. Close S into the 6HS, which isn't special cancelable anymore, by the way, for Nagoriyuki. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, here we go with, uh, with Ice trying to get out of the way, but Lord. Wall break for Kado. He's going to get the positive bonus. Go straight for the Wild Assault for Guard Break. Oh, and using that positive bonus for the tension in order to get relentless pressure in the corner and finally opening ice up and getting the kill. Oh, Lord, the double, the Fukio, man. The double Fukio, actually. This is going to raise the bar a lot. Careful, is he going to bloodburst? No, he's not. Saved by the bell. Okay, nice dive right there from ice. Couldn't quite catch the bag dash. He uses the 
uh, the stroke in order to go under the standing S of Cal Cal mashing the standing P and rightfully so goes for the bite should be able to seal if he uses all of his meter enough not enough that's surprising see how this spins out oh and the double freaking wild assault man Cal not afraid takes the second match extremely convincingly not going to lie Okay, well, Wild Assault, definitely a strong tool, especially for Nagoyuki, who guard breaks, so it doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter, of course, if it hits on uh, on block or on hit, but even if it hits on block, it's still okay, still your turn. Very strong uh, mechanic right there. Ooh, one too many times, it's okay. Ooh, went for the tap dust again, man, with the Wild Assault, and look at that, man. Wow, 6 hits into the wall break for the kill. That did mad damage, not going to lie. It's still okay, it's still just the second round of the third match. Again with the standing P counter, the standing S counter hit for Karu. Karu just content to back away. He's going to blood burst. And here we go, damage time. Too far to get anything to get, but this is going to be death or not. I still not completely, not completely, um, wow. Oh lord! Oh yeah, and the newly found but it's okay, man! Ice waking up with the freaking overdrive for the kill! Oh lord! <laughs> Wild Karu san desu yo ne! Sugoi ne! Mou! Wild Assault no tsukaikata sugoi omai desu yo ne, Karu san! Ah! And also, yes, of course, the follow up of the DP of Nagoriyuki is an overhead now. Is that gonna kill? Yes, it is, man. Karu san running a train right now. This is looking pretty harsh for Ice, not going to lie. He still has one more chance in order to stay in the uh, winner's bracket. We shall see if he's gonna be able to take it or not. There we go with uh, the knockdown. Goes for the bite. Goes for the low. Nice blocks from. Uh, oh, he goes for the overhead, man. Ooh, ooh. Look at the damage, bro. Look at the damage. Ice is life just sending up by a thread right now. Goes for the stroke. Wants to get. Oh! Immediately into the freaking overdrive. I don't know if he did it on reaction. Maybe it was an option select. I'm not quite sure, but it definitely worked for him. Ooh. No! And Ice again. Just. Oh, boom! Okay, now I have to kill. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. The 6 HS, man. Oh, I knew he was going to do it. I knew he was gonna do it, man, and just like this, man, Karu on match point, he's gonna be able to seal the deal. So good. Karu has been using round start Beyblade so often, it's been working a lot for him. Ah, oh, careful there, okay, nice. Oh, no. Forced to pop the burst, almost got hit by the... Oh, Lord, this is looking pretty bad, not gonna lie. Woo. Oh, nice jump back from Ice. I oh, cannot catch these backdashes from Karu, man been working very bad for him oh okay nice stroke right there was able to catch him oh nice bait is gonna be able to seal the deal oh and the double freaking hover okay ice is gonna get a d hard knockdown is he gonna be able to get it oh no not like this oh why rc why rc and no why rc Good lord, and just like this, Cal. Okie dokie, net. Ooh, okay, let me solve this. Uh, the name of zombies is a little bit out of. Out of. Uh, uh, here we go. That is better. Okay, zombie versus Kohi, both individuals from Japan. I do believe uh, zombie is also from Japan, if I'm correct. Uh, yes, he is. Okay, let's see how this pans out. A very strong start from Kohi that already worked on forcing zombie to pop the burst. Ah, and again, man, with that dash. Then S into the Ventania, man. Lots of damage right off the bat. Very nice to HS. Try to catch the back dash. Wasn't quite able to get it. Here we go with Koshide going for the Puente and to the Roman Cancel into the killing combo. Very nicely done. On to the second round, though. It has just started. Oh, Lord. No attack right there. Four zombie. Oh, Lord. Yeah, right now, uh, just as you saw, the cannon drill benefited from a new uh, buff. It is a now guard break. It did guard breaks, actually. 
So very nice buff for it. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, wow, that was sick. It was on send. Unfortunately for it, it did get nerfed a bit. It now causes a knockdown and does not keep the opponent on their feet. Alcoide going for the optimization station, but Zombie did have. Ooh, look, no! Unfortunately for Zombie, they didn't believe in the follow up and got grabbed by Kojide. Kojide taking the first match pretty convincingly. That being said, it is the first match. It doesn't really determine the total outcome of the whole set. Let's see if Zombie can adapt. Oh lord, nice blocks right there from Zombie. A little bit shy of trying to like bring the pressure towards Kojide though. Wow, and that Hiragi though, that was sick! And Kojide answering back with a wake up on Tanya. Doesn't get the wall break though. A little bit too far for it. Good lord, Zombie man. This man knows no fear. Ah, uh, Zombie forced to pop the burst. Very nice standing S. Finally gets something going on. Goes for the cross up. Yo, Zong Sen, that was sick. And that was an A save drop. Unfortunately for Zombie, he had the good freaking. He had the momentum going, but yeah. Koide said, nope, you are not getting any more momentum. Oh, nice. Ah, this summer he should be able to get it. Yeah, he does. No save drum for you. Well, it was the save drum. Oh, wow. That was a nice cross up. Cross up, Yuzan said. Nice grab from Kohide. Gets the corner positioning. Man, it's so hard to press a button against this man. See how this pans out. Wake up, Hiragi. Nope. Oh, he did. He did. He woke up, Hiragi. But yeah. Kohide went for the puente for it. So it didn't, he didn't really care about it. Good stuff from Kohide. Gets the second match as well. Is he going to go? All straight to 3 0. Oh, we shall see. Wow, start of the round into the freaking Nasante. Let's see how this pans out. If he's staying in front, goes for the Yields on Sin. Versus Kohide to pop the burst. No 6p right there. Ah, nice grab from Kohide. That goes for the Puente. Again with the Puente. Oh lord. I don't know, a little bit too far to get the follow up. Wow, nice just blocks though. Good stuff from a zombie. Ah uh, no, Hiragi was a little bit too early. You hate to see it. And the double dust into the wall break for the kill. This is set point. If zombie loses this one, he will be sent to the loser's bracket. A nice back dash right there. On the Kabari. Oh lord. Kohide has unleashed the beast. Good lord, what are you supposed to do? Good stuff from Kohide. Goes for the cross under. Ah, uh, goes for the puente again. And oh, got the bait on the burst, but wasn't able to really. Oh, yeah, well, that, that was death. Good stuff from Kohide. Takes it a really cool 3 to 0. That... Oh, we can, be, we can be right all the time. Okay, we're around Ry Rocking Kai Kisk versus Eto. Let's see how this spins out. I have yet to play... Oh, I did play against Chip. Some chips. Uh, I'm not really quite sure exactly how many. Probably one or two. It, it seems pretty nice, but the uh, the nerf on his... Well, the pseudo-nerf buff on his uh, 6k is actually welcome for me because I can now I can finally react on, <laughs> on the overhead. I should not be able to, but now it's actually reactable, so I actually like it. But the... Um, how do you call it? The... Uh, the downside is that now if you get hit by the uh if you get hit by the uh by the overhead, then uh chip gets a free combo afterwards. Yeah. So it, it's fine. I feel like it's a it's a nice uh it, it's a nice uh you know give and take I, I suppose. Well give and take. I feel I feel like it's fair. Because the freaking overhead before was unreactable. Like it's it was so freaking quick. Well not unreactable for old people like me, that is. <laughs> And here we go with Marone, get, trying to get that corner pressure. It's all going. Oh, almost got uh, got the opening. Go straight into the auto -tank. Come out. <laughs> Gonna get the hard knockdown. Let's see how this spins out. Goes for the safe jump. Tries to go for a reset using the Gamma Blade. Nice jump out right there from Marone. Even gets the juggle. Goes for the OTG. Goes for the instant overhead. Oh, bait! That wonderful, wonderful burst! Goes for the Wild Assault to secure a hard knockdown. Probably wants the meter in the- Oh, Lord! No, sorry! You are-
are not going to pressure me. And it's a look for the follow-up. And he had the meter to burn. Good stuff from Eto. Good lord. I really thought he was going to be dead right there, but no. Okay, nice. This is a pretty nice match, not going to lie. Let's see how this spins out. Nice 6P from Maroon. Goes for the save drop. Here we go with the reset. Ooh. Nice alpha blade. Eto out of the corner. Almost got the punish on the uh, stun dipper. Oh, that would punish though. Eto not believing in it though. Here we go with the stun edge. Oh, good lord. Oh, nice 6 speed from Maroon. Good lord. He got the bait on the DT. No. He couldn't punish it correctly. And it's with the instant blocks, man. Damn. The just blocks, all right. Not the instant blocks. Oh, lord. Oh, he goes for the empty low. Wake up, DP. No. Nice blocks right there from it all. Hey, he goes for the direct up for the kill. Catches the bag dash, man. First match. Explosive match, by the way goes to Maroon in very, very nice fashion, not going to lie. Good stuff for Maroon. Okay, let's see if Ito can bring the adjustments, the necessary adjustments. We shall see. Nice back there their own D4s. Ooh, gets uh, the counter hit. Forces Ito to pop the burst. Okay, Maroon looking pretty good. Has uh, the, uh, as the corner secured. Man, goes for a freaking delayed Pudra Dark. <laughs> What the hell was that? I've never seen that before. Nice 2D counter hit from it. Oh. Don't really know if he dropped the juggle or if it was intentional. Forces the... Uh, forces the, the yellow... Oh! Oh, Lord! I'm looking for a my toe. Gonna get the wall break into the... No total come on. This uh, decides to use the wild assault instead. Oh, Lord! And that freaking command grab! And you can see that Maroon woke up with the DP, which is the reason why- Oh no! Ito securing the free- Baiting that burst, man. He's got everything. The kick, he created- He made the kick and he ate it right there. That was beautiful. Good stuff from Ito. Very good stuff. So let's see. Uh, Ito really trying to get out of the corner. Nice grab. To grab from Malone. Probably not happy from what happened in the previous match. And here we go with the DP from it, though, man. Ooh, a little bit too far to catch that back dash. Okay, nice 2S right there from Marone. Um, ooh, Marone, definitely on point with the 6Ps, man. You cannot jump on this, man. Oh, Lord, no, you are not going to grab me. Is he gonna be, have enough corner carry to get? Yes, he will. Nice stuff, gonna get the, the positive bonus, too. A little bit. Oh, no, nice grab from Marone. Goes for the cross up. Nice war C from it to try to beat the burst. And here we go with the freaking. Oh no, Sun Dipper for the kill. And it's dying with. Oh, okay, okay. It had the lead. I'm bad. My bad, my bad. Let's see how this pans out. Nice attack right there from it. Gotta be careful though. Maroon just inputting them uh, standing K in order to catch any. Uh, any. Yeah, in order to catch any um, sprints from uh, Ito. Dashes from Ito. And the quick overhead, the quick sukiyaki, the quick bonsai from uh, from Ito gets the grab. It was gonna be the mix. He tries to beat them, uh, them text attempts, man. But Maron definitely holding uh, strong. Ooh, wow! Maron is so on point with the 6P. So crazy. Oh no! And that DP though, and Maron again with the bait. Gets the grab. Should be able to. Oh no! Ooh, okay, gets the kill. Good stuff from Maroon! Securing the second freaking round, is, the second match as well. Very, very, very strong performance from this man. Good stuff. Let's see how this pans out. One second, guys. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Gil. Gil Gamesh, if you're watching, can you tell me if you contacted your opponent? Uh, little Gil, if you're, uh, I'm gonna send you a line. Anyways, here we go with the stun dipper for uh, Maron trying to get that corner pressure. Wow, he went for the, he went for the cross up though. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, well, let me just contact Gil real quick, and this should do. I thought I'm gonna do it in next, uh, in the next. <clears throat> okay, good stuff from match. In losers. Man. Hmm. Okay, hopefully he's going to answer sooner rather than later. We shall see. Oh, uh, let's see. 
Okay, anyways, uh, on to the next battle. Gonna be none other than Dark Negro versus Hagena. Hagena trying to get out of the corner. Goes with the corner pressure. Tried to go for the grab, but Dark Negro definitely on point. Definitely noticed it. Went for the back dash and punished accordingly. Switching, effectively switching sides. And again with Hagena switching sides himself. With a Dark Negro. Goes for the grab. This time around is successful. Tried to go for the OTG kill, but... Well, Nagoriki does have a lot of health and a lot of guts, but still, Hagata managed to seal the deal with the follow-up. Oh, nice punish right there on the 6HS. Hagata going for the ambiguous cross-up. <clears throat> wow, the pressure is real, man. Very nice use of the guard point right there. Couldn't quite get the follow-up juggle correctly, but it's still fine. Woo, who's the 6HS though? Oh, Here we go with the pressure from Dark Negro in the corner. Just con content to uh, get chip damage right there. <clears throat> and here we go with uh, the Beyblade into the standing K for the kill. Well, let's see how this pans out. Woo! And this is an overhead, you have to block it. <laughs> nice uh, jabs right there from Hagara. Uh, a little bit too far to get anything off of it. Ooh, that 6 speed though, Dark Negro, you cannot jump on this man, it's crazy. Again, here we go with the blocks from Hagara. A little bit too far. Ooh, to get the kill. Ooh. Okay, nice. Checks right there again with the block. The guard, uh, the guard point, man. Oh, I managed to get the tech. Stay straight into the Illusion Driver. Gonna get a nice, safe, pressure follow-up. And this did a huge amount of damage because... Uh, well, because uh, Dark Necro, unfortunately... Oh, Lord. Ooh. And Hagiara actually managed to get the first mad. Very nicely done by Hagiara. Good stuff. Let's see how this pans out. I'm just gonna see if Gil answered. It should be fine. If he's not answering, it's probably because he's uh, he's playing right now. So just one second, guys. And that was a huge amount of counter right there in the corner from Haya. Manages to get the first round of the second match as well. Good stuff from Haya, man. Definitely on point. Nice to get 2D right there. And. Here we go for the illusion driver, man. Just gonna do a lot of damage. Good stuff from Hayara, man. Actually managing pretty good against Dark Negro, man. Oh, but got hit right there. This is gonna do some damage, some corner carry as well. Here we go, corner we go. I got fighting desperately to get out of the corner. Making good, such good use of the guard. Uh, the, the guard one, man. It's been working so good in Dark Negro with the instant overhead. The Dark Necro special. Oh, nice grab from Dark Necro. Not enough to seal the deal, but enough to lower that very, very high blood pressure. Uh, blood pressure. Blood level. Wow, that juggle though. Ah, uh, too far to get a follow up. Oh, Lord, 6p. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was literally a mix-up. That was literally a mix-up. <laughs> overhead, low, overhead, low. What are you gonna do? Nice. Check right there from... How you not going for the lows, man? Oh, that delayed overhead is so cheeky, man. Good lord. Oh, lord. Oh, the double Fukio. Good stuff from I guess the juggle. No Illusion Driver goes for the Wild Assault instead for the... A uh, heavy knockdown. Oh lord! Ah, and that check from Dark Necro. Not enough to kill. Forces Hagia to pop the burst though. Oh lord! And the Twitches has been punished. Yeah, yeah. Again with the mini game. Good stuff from Dark Necro bringing it back, man. But man, that uh, follow up DP into an overhead. 
Uh, if you mix in the uh, the Beyblade right after that is a low, that is so, so unfair. <laughs> that is so powerful for Nago, man. Oh, Lord. Now you're literally in a guessing game just up for Nago, like, trying to go on to you, you know? It's, it's like, so freaking hard, man. See how this runs out. Woo! Nice check right there from uh from Hagera managed to get the knockdown. Woo! Oh no, Hagera didn't believe in it. Ooh, almost got the kill right there. Okay, good stuff from Hagera should be able to get the corner pressure. Ah and the Beyblade for the kill. Oh you for taking the first round of the second match the third match. Let's see how this spins out. Oh lord, and Dark Negro going for the grab, the command grab, and here you go, you're in mixed land, oh. This is so hard, man. So hard to deal with, I feel. Ah, lord. Yeah, too far to get the follow-up. Reason why Dark Negro decided instead to uh, simply... Lord. To simply Roman cancel out. And Dark Negro with the burst spade. The successful burst made good stuff from Dark Negro. I think the second map, the third map. Up to the one. What is Hagera gonna do? Good lord. Man. Oh, straight into the command grab. Dark Negro forcing Hagera to pop the burst. Uses the clone to. Wow. To close the gap, the distance. No 6p. Finally, Hagera managing to get a little bit of damage in. Catches the back dash with the uh, 6 HS. Ooh! Oh no, with the 5 HS, I'm sorry. Oh, goes for the fake cross up, manages to get it. Tried to go for the grab, but man, Dark Negro on point. But it's still fine for Aguera against the Elysian Driver. This should kill. Yes, it did. Well, yeah, yeah, obviously it will. Obviously. Okay, Aguera not out of it yet. This needs one more round in order to bring the score back. Ah, gets hit by every single follow up of the DP, man. The Lord. Ah, nice standing here right there from Hagera gets a knockdown and the freaking ah uh, the loop, the wall bounce loop from Jackal in the corner. Ah, uh, a little bit too far to get the six HS and ooh, almost got the punish on the oh. Ah, uh, you hate to see it. Wake up, nope. Ooh. Ah, he gets the follow up. This should kill. Yes, it is. Good lord. This does so much damage. It's crazy. Good stuff from Dark Negro on set point. He's gonna be able to seal the deal. Ah, <laughs> try to get the follow up there. Ooh. Oof. Ow, here we go with the counter hit. I got out with the corner positioning. Looking pretty good. Gets the closest counter hit. Goes straight into the Illusion Driver. Gonna be mix up time. I wager he's gonna go for a, a safe jump. Nope. Oh, gets the bag that's with the standing H. Oh, nice to have this actually worked in favor of Hagera. Oh, Lord. Careful there. Oh, what is it, mix? No, blood explosion. We hate you. And still gets the kill with the 2K. I got him out, out of it yet, bro. Bringing it back over Dark Necro, nevertheless. Damn. Dual Let me see. Gilgamesh is not answering. What is going on? Uh, one second. Gil is not answering at all. I think uh, Twitter. Ah, damn it. I should get my Twitter open. I think people contacted me, probably. Uh, nope. Nobody did. Okay, we're still good, I guess. But... Um, good stuff from Hagata on the verge of sealing the deal. Oh, what the hell? Okay, just updated it right now. Okay, that's good. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, we're good, guys. Sorry, uh, I was afraid that uh, we were running late. In uh, one of damn, we're on set point right now. Yes, we are. Damn, going down to the final round of the final match. Let's see how this pans out. 
Damn. Oh, hi, Yara. Got the corner positioning. Try to get the bait. Oh, nice. Oh, Lord. Oh, and the minion's still there too. Freaking. Oh, to F stuff up. I got to going for the Illusion Driver. Look at the damage. One more opening should be enough for Hagiara to finish it. Oh, 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 oh. Hagiara manages to send Dark Necro in the loser's bracket. Holy freaking lord. Let me check. Yeah, my bracket doesn't work. Keep it all. Anyways, the bracket is here for anybody who's interested. Yeah, why does this work, bro? <laughs> what the hell? Why doesn't bracket work? work? Let me check real quick. Shoku. Yeah, why doesn't Bracken work? Oh. Hmm. oh, this is the second ship that Maron is fighting today, by the way. <laughs> Nice double grab right there from Ron once again that quarter positioning. Oh lord in the wake up overdrive by Summit! Oh goes for the cancel into the kill. Good stuff from Summit takes the first match. Sensei. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Okay, I'll, I don't know what my bot is doing. It's not. Hmm. Yeah, my my bot is like unstable right now. What else do I have? Uh, Pokemon. Yeah, the bot is not working. Let's just leave it as it is. <laughs> so strange. If I do this though, let's see. Sorry guys. Yeah, it's oh okay, now it's working. And if I put the other one. Oh, yeah. Okay. And Yeah, it's not working. What the hell? Okay. I'll be right back with you guys, yeah? Sorry for the wait. Right in the light thing! Wow! Damn! Maroon, bro! Damn! Maroon taking the second map! Okay, okay, it's not gonna be free, eh? Good stuff. Maroon actually very strong, man. I didn't remember him from last time they participated, but damn, he's actually very, very solid. Not going to lie. Good stuff, good stuff. Here we go with the stun dip for nice bag that right there from Summit gonna get the corner positioning goes for the Cancel Blade to keep the uh to keep the uh the pressure on. 
Okay. <laughs> Here we go to grab for Marone. And Marone actually getting the freaking uh getting the advantage, man. Uh that being said, do not disregard Summit Sensei that easily. Definitely no slouch. Oh Totoy, come on! Please work. And it's not working. Okay, I've had it. Fine. Let's just use stream elements. Okay, now bracket should work. Sorry for the wait, guys. Okay, very good. So, anyways, on to the next battle. Oh, Lord. And here we go with the perfect four summits. Takes the lead two to one. Let's see if Marone can actually shift the tide of battle and bring it back, we shall see. Okay, start of the round, a nice standing is to catch the backdash of Summit. Summit just picking up straight with the DP does not want to have to bear any type of oh pressure. Very nice grab right there from Marone, actually catches the uh, startup frames of the DP of Summit. And here we go with the direct left for the kill. This stuff from Marone, definitely not out of it yet. Oh lord! Here we go with the burst from Marone. I uh, tried to go for 6p. Wow, here we go with the Fooder Lark. He tried to read a uh, DP from Summit, but Summit was actually uh, pretty respectful this time around. And Marone with a DP of his own. Summit directly into the Oto oh, Train. Come on! Here we go with the safe jump. Ah, uh, Summit with the Gamma Blade, forcing Marone to pop the YRC. Nice grab from Marone. Goes for the cross up. The safe cross up. Ooh, again with the cross up, man. I don't even know how Marone managed to not get hit by this. Ooh. Wow, Lord. Again with the Gamma Blade. Again with the DP, man. Marone not afraid. Catches the back dash with the 2S. Ooh, here we go. To Ooh, that check, though. Ooh, no. Not like this. Careful. Okay, nice delayed. Uh, burst right there. Oh, and Marone catching them legs with the 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 what's it called the uh, stun dipper. Good stuff from Marone, man. Marone on the on the verge of saying summit to the losers, man. Wow, good stuff. Yeah, let's see how this, this let's see how this uh this comes out. Again with the DP from Marone, man. Oh, and summit with the DP of his own. Oh, oh, damn. Oh Lord. Oh, the pressure's real. Oh, and Moron man just navigated on the on the on the ground trying to punish that jumping 2D from uh from so Summit wake up with freaking buttons all the time. It's crazy. Oh lord, here we go the DP from Moron, gonna get that wall break. Good lord. Ah, here we go the forest. Oh no! The DP has been oh, the DP has been blocked. It's still not enough to kill though. That being said, Summit goes straight for the freaking overdrive. What is Marone gonna do? Oh no, the cross up game! Oh no! No! He valued that she should have back dash there! He had the kill! He had the kill! He had the kill! Marone had the kill right there! Why did he back dash? Oh, and he's gonna live to regret it, I can tell you. It's just like this, man. Summit is on freaking set point. Oh, Summit straight into the overdrive. Oh, Marone, no, not like this. Here we go, the Gamma. No, and Summit. Summit with the reeds. Oh, he goes for the... Oh, no, and he faded the first. And this time around, Summit does not drop it at all. Wow. We had some, uh, we still have a little bit of a technical issue with the bot of the stream, but it's, aside from that, everything is fine. Everything's really fine. But yeah, man, it's, uh, so many good, I love this season of, uh, of Street Fighter, of Street Fighter. Well, Street Fighter as well, but I love this season of Guilty Gear. Season 3 is really good. 
extremely good season. Uh, I love the changes they implemented. There are some really, really crazy stuff in, in the game now, but uh, it's. I feel like it's more bearable than what was in uh, Season 2, for now at least. But No, no, really, really, really fun stuff, man. And that being said, we go with the Jackal Mirror and finally Hagiala deciding to pop the burst. Good lord, yeah, Hagiala with the corner pressure and the double RC right there. Almost got the juggle. Again with the standing K, man. <laughs> I got going with three standing Ks in a row. Bro getting the grab goes for the fake cross up and he goes for the tab dust into their RC for the kill. Very nicely done. Bye, bro. He gets the first round. Yes, he does. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're good to go. And. Uh, I got an answering in due fashion. Gets the wall break. Wow, that was a very long, a long run, man. And bro, deciding to hold on to their burst, which is the correct, um, the correct, um, correct decision. Thought an update with stream uh, was going on my device. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's perfect, Dallas. That is perfect. It's good to have you back, man. And here we go with the corner pressure, man. And I got a man relent. Oh, bro, actually, I'm sorry, bro, with the relentless corner pressure. Gonna get the wall break with the hard knockdown, but that, that did a ton of damage. Good lord. Ah, eto, mada yara nai de. Yari masen no de. Samette san wa eto, ichi o ma taiki to ka. Ato atenju kai demo denzen. Kiai shi ni itte itadaite mo denzen daijibu desu no de. えっと、ひとまずはルーザーズの方に移しますので大丈夫です。ありがとうございます。確認していただき。Well, <laughs> the soldier is going to be mad wild. <laughs> it's man. Going forward in the future, oh, it definitely is, man. Right now, like the meta is uh is completely centered around the uh, wild assault and uh, how to prevent like your opponent from getting a soft knockdown and forcing the hard knockdown uh, of the opponent. And also, it's really good for corner care for every single character, so it's something that everybody needs to 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 use, and not only that, but the the fact that uh, now positive bonus not only affects tension but also burst. It makes it so it's extremely strong, basically. Uh, guys, I didn't check who won the first match. Does anybody remember? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I was like right. Uh, I was I was probably talking as always. And also, a lot of set play sequences going to be about locking out burst and pressure. Yeah, definitely, man. Exactly. Uh, I don't remember who won the first one. I do believe it's Bra. Yeah, I do believe Bra won the first match. I think. Does anybody remember? Can anybody confirm? <laughs> I completely forgot. Driver. Good stuff from Bra. Definitely take. I think he got the first match. Yeah, pretty sure he did. Not 100% sure. I'm gonna give it to Bra the first one. If if I if I'm incorrect, then just yeah, just uh, just correct me if if, if I'm not correct. I think Brog had the first one. Now, I think. Anyways, I'm pretty sure Shiho San is going to uh is going to correct me if uh, if it's not Brog. <laughs> Anyways, here we go the grab from Hagiara and that back dash into the grab from Bra. Yeah, this friends again with the grab, man. It's grab festival today. <laughs> Nage festival, Nage matsuri. And then here we go with uh, the Illusion Driver from Hagiana! Not enough to kill! Yo, this spins out! Oh lord! Nice air grab, man, from Hagiana! Definitely on point! Okay, so, 1 to 1, I think? I'm not quite sure, I think it's 1 to 1. It might be 2, uh, two to 0, though. If Hagiana wins this one and he doesn't win the set, then uh, that means that bro won the first one. Anyways! Oh, let's see how this spins out. Ooh, here we go. With that. Oh no, the 2D. Hate to see it. Ah, very nice in the AHS for that. Let's see how this spins out. Nagikara des. Mo Nagikara desu yo ne. Driver! Good stuff from Nagikara. I'm not gonna get the kill. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go with the close up pressure. No entire. Oh lord, that's a time around, man. Hagiara was on point, but bro they didn't commit. Oh lord, that was his counter hit though. Oh nice corner carry though. Here we go, try to go for the grab, and here we go. This standing K for the kill for Hagiara. So uh, this one is either set point or 
two to one for uh, for Hagiara if he wins. Wow, nice uh, nice reactions right there from Hagiara to prevent Bro from jumping on him. Oh, that would punish though. Nice juggle from Hagiara. Oh, definitely has Bro exactly where he wants him. Oh, tried to go for the air grab, but yeah. Holy oh, lord, that burst though. Oh, the reaction burst. Here we go, the literal minions are on the deck. And Hagiara on point with the 6 This has been the bane of Bro. See how this spins out. Nice 6 HS right there. Ooh, and this should be it. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, okay, okay. It was it was in fact 1-2-1. One one. Okay, so Hagiara has the uh, second match. The third match, I'd like. So 2-1. to one. Only one more uh, match for Hagiara in order to uh, secure the kill. Oh, Lord. Okay, good. It actually works. <laughs> good stuff. Okay, bon, ça a marché le sang ricoche. Moi, je suis content. C'est bien, c'est bien. Two Jacko on screen looking like they're playing ping pong. Yeah, man. They're, they've been grabbing each other for the past 10 minutes. Here we go. Just <laughs> speaking of the devil. <laughs> it's been grab fest, man. It's crazy. Anyways, we're going to close up pressure. And bro, forced to pop the bird. Uh, I'm sorry, how do you force to pop the bird? Wow, dude, with punishes, though. Here we go to grab. And oh, that would have been the kill, bro. Bro could have killed with the OTG, but he gets the kill with the chip damage. Good stuff from bro. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, Lord. Nice juggle from bro. Definitely waking up gets the ball break. And the positive bonus. Let's see how this spins out. Good Lord. Oh, you're going to do RC from bro. But man, the checks from Hagiara. He knows his character, man. Ooh, tried to go for a uh, tick grab attempt. A uh, tick uh, bait with him, I'm sorry. Oh, no siree! Yeah, uh, nice punish right there from Hagiara. Should be able to get the kill with his own Elysian driver. Driver! Yeah, this is gonna be the kill. Good stuff from Hagiara on set point. Is Bra gonna be able to bring it back? Let's see, we shall see. Good lord. Ooh! Uh, this is looking pretty bad for Bro. Oh, he gets the cross up. That was a pretty good for him. He definitely needed this one. There we go. The tick pressure tried to go for the grab, but man, Hagiara on point. Oh no, not like this. Here we go the corner pressure. Ooh, that was definitely a YRC. <laughs> that was definitely a YRC. Ah, that standing K has been the bane of Bro, man. Ooh, that's 6P though. We go to juggle and Elysian. Nope, no Elysian, but I got to using the Wild Assault in order to keep. Oh no, not like this. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Why is he? Nice grab. Okay, bro can potentially bring it back. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, that would have been the death. That would have been the kill. If I did the exact same, um, the same move as, as bro. This is really tense. I'm not gonna lie. This is really tense. Is Bro gonna bring it back? No! He gets hit by the minion right at the end and Hagiara takes it. Mm. Okay, that should be fine. And then... I can't write Onigashimasu. Oh, 
ね、うん、がいしよう大丈夫です。OK です。まあ、OK です、ね。OK でーす。いいらしい。海の良さに対応していただきますよ、ね。Okay. okay, we have Kome Kome, so it's fine. Everything good. Okay, follow me. Okay, I'll find, I'll find, I'll find. Okay, so that being said, we are currently witnessing Caffeine versus Oh, Dark Necro. Caffeine, the other member of the, the Bro Drill Cup, Jacko Trinity, if I might call it. So we have like three、uh, recurrent、uh, Jacko players in the Bro Drill Cup. It's basically Bro. Hagiara, and this is the third one, Caffeine. Caffeine tends to have a little bit of a better result than the two others. But this time around, which is very, very surprising, he is in the loser's bracket, so a little bit、uh, of a change of pace. But that being said, his fellow bra, <laughs> no puns intended, by the way. Uh, so, uh, so, just for, for the very. For the,、uh, for, for the information, the person who sent Oni Dark Necro to the loser's bracket is Bro, who is、uh, more or less considered like he's very strong,、uh, don't get me wrong, but he tends to have like、uh, less good、uh, tournament results than his two、uh, counterparts, who are、uh, Hagiara and、um, and Cafe. But this time around, Bro was able to send Dark Necro in the loser's bracket. And、uh, right now, as you can see, you can see that Caffeine is having a little bit of a An issue trying to contain this、uh, this aggressiveness that、uh, Dark n e c r o is bringing to the table right now. So let's see、uh, if he's going to be able to do just like Bro and、uh, send Dark n e c r o eliminate Dark n e c r o from、uh, the tournament. We shall see. Anyways,、uh, things are looking pretty good for Dark n e c r o He is in the corner though, but managed to make his way out of it.、Uh, got hit by the minion though. Ooh, we tried to go for air Dark n e c r o there, but yeah. But Caffeine didn't let him do so. Here we go with the drums. Very nice guard point right there from Caffeine. Here we go with the wild assault and Caffeine getting grabbed. This is definitely not somewhere you want it to be. And this should be enough to kill. Good stuff from Dark Necro. A quick 2 to nail right now. Okay, let's see if Caffeine can bring some sort of adjustment to the table in order to、uh, bring it back. We shall see. Oh, and here we go with. Ah,、oh, Lloyd, that delayed overhead is so sneaky, man. It's so sneaky. Here we go with、uh, the corner pressure. Caffeine definitely looking for something. Probably tried to look for a wire C if I'm correct. Here we go with the. Oh, oh, Lloyd, a little bit too early on the guard point, but good. Good punish on the by the temper right there from Dark Necro. That was very nicely done by Caffeine. Uh, nope. Oh, nice back dash right there from Caffeine. He was on the verge of getting hit. A very nice 2D. Works as an entire as well. Does everything. Makes you sandwiches. Cleans your house. Helps you clean yourself when you take a shower. The 2D is multifunctional. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, that follow up from the DP though from Dark n e c r o man. Ooh, forces Caffeine to pop the burst. Here we go with Dark n e c r o man. Ooh, lord. Yeah, ooh, very nice use of the guard point again from Caffeine. Gets the entire again with the 2D. Uh, no, Dark Negro still holding on to their burst. Gets hit by the guard point again. Ooh, and Caffeine managing to bait the burst. Finally puts one on the board. A 1 to 0. 1 to 2, sorry. Oh,、uh, God, let's see how this spins out for、uh, Dark Negro. Is he going to be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Okay, here we go with Caffeine managing to bait the burst from Dark Necro. Very nice backdash right there from Caffeine. Who tried to. Yeah. Oh, Lord. And that guard point from Caffeine has been working wonders.、Ah, again with the 2S counter hit, though. This has not been working so much great for them. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was checkmate situation. Good stuff from Dark Necro on set point. Caffeine definitely needs this one. He wants to stay alive. Well, still alive. Yes, exactly. Stay in the court. Is、uh, in the in the tournament. Wow, you can see, man. Caffeine trying to bait、uh, Dark Necro to press buttons right there. Oh lord! 
Ah, this is looking pretty bad for Cafe. Oh, he found the opening. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Gotta open up with the spinning HS. You're gonna be in mixed land. You're gonna be in mixed land. Careful. Oh, Lord. Ah, uh, yeah, this is looking pretty dire, not gonna lie. As soon as he's going to be in ship character... Yeah, this is dead. Good stuff from Dark Necro. Stays alive. Dispatch it. One of the strong, as uh, the strongest Asuka player in... Oh, well. Okay, well. F me. <laughs> okay, Kome Kome deciding to play uh, Johnny this time around. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, first Johnny participation in the tournament. So, uh, this is gonna be fun. Let's set this thing up. Uh, and here we go. We have a Johnny in top eight, ladies and gentlemen. This is pretty good. Okay, and on to the battle, and you can see Kaito bringing the heat to Kome Kome. Kome Kome holding on to their burst. Definitely does not want to let it go. Very nice 2k 2d right there from it. So it goes for the empty grab. We go with the gamma blade. Oh lord. Oh, he goes for the freaking tech babe. Good stuff for it. It's against the perfect, by the way. Damn. Very nice start of the round. Let's see if uh, Kome Kome can manage to... Uh, to... Deal with uh, that freaking storm that is it, Ito, man. Wow, and Ito, Ito already, man. With... Oh, Lord, you hate to see it. Big counter hit right there. Because the risk bar was completely full, no tension bar in order to get the to secure the uh, secure the um what's called the uh, hard knockdown. Oh again, man, with the tech bait from it, oh, it's been working so good for him. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. Oh, that delayed overhead though from it. Oh, we're not. Uh, we might see a character change. Not gonna lie. La Milia et la uh, désolé Akimi, je viens de voir ta, ta question et laisse-moi voir. Uh, la Milia n'est plus en lice. Non, elle est plus. Elle y est plus désolé. Elle est elle est pas qui. <laughs> la Milia n'est plus là. Désolé gros. Again, here we go with uh, the Gamma Blade. Come on, come on. Resorting to only uh, using Johnny and not switching to uh, Oscar, which is pretty interesting. And here we go with the wall break. This are from Ito. Wow, Ito finding the opening. And Kome Kome not. Yeah. Obviously holding on to their burst. Getting perfected in the process though. That definitely must have stained. Ah, nice jump in from Ito. That's for the Gamma Blade. Again with the Gamma Blade, wow! Oh! Finally, Kome Kome choosing the absolute best timing in order to burst. Finally, finding the opening, goes for the Mistfiner, Mistfiner again. And here we go with the bug version of the Mistfiner, which adds the, uh, what's it called? Adds a guard crush effect if uh, the Mistfiner hits uh, a, um, what's it called? It hits the card that uh, Johnny sent towards his opponent. Nice take right there. Oh, Lord! And Ito on point. Even if it clashes, he's still aware. Still on point when it comes to the timing to press buttons. And Kome Kome is staking with... Uh, yeah, staking with Johnny, actually. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, nice. Punish right there from Kome Kome. Kome with the Miss Spiner. We'll do it with it. Oh, not afraid to just dash straight towards his uh, opponent. Big misfinder there. And again, Ito, man. Man, he seems to get the grab over there, which is pretty surprising. Nice blocks right there from Kome Kome. Oh, uh, Lord, why was that? What happened? Which side was he on? What the hell happened? And we go with Ito and the heart knockdown. Ito going for the safe drop. Goes for the Gamma Blade to reset the pressure. Good lord! No misfinder. Oh dear, good. Low misfinder. Woo, what the hell was that? Ah, nice and low from it. Oh, should be able to get the kill, yeah. Bonsai! Good stuff from Ito on a match point, actually. 
Komi Komi needs to make something happen if he wants to stay in the tournament. Here we go with the corner pressure, man. Good lord. Out of pressure is real, man. Good. Ooh, I almost got the juggle right there. Okay, nice. Uh, nice checks right there from Komi Komi. Oh, no entire from Komi Komi. Not on point there. Oof. Oh lord! Ah, again with the tech bait, man. It's been working so good for Reto to be able to get the wall break. And yeah, Kome Kome has not been checking them advancements from Eto or really entiring Eto whenever it was like the most uh, the most important. Man, this should be able to do. Yeah, good stuff from Eto. It's like taking a clean three to nail, man. Here you go. Maroon versus Oni Dark Negro. So is Dark Negro gonna make a, a full comeback until the grand final? We shall see. That being said, Maroon is a definitely no slouch. Almost got it over um, over Summit also, so definitely no slouch at all. That being said, things are going pretty good for Dark Negro. Goes for the jump in. First to get as much blood as possible. Gotta get the 6p. Wow, what was that? The double Fukio. The in and out Fukio into the bite. That was sick. Ah, nice. Check right there from Maron. Unfortunately, gets checked by that. Close S entire from Dark Necro. Dark Necro takes the first round. And on to the second round. Ooh, wow, the double Fukio, man. Oof, <laughs> them 6 p though. Here we go with the 2S catching the backdash from Dark Necro. And Marone using uh, the burst gauge in order to seek her hard knockdown. Oh lord! Yeah, that uh, what's called the wild, the wild reflex is a very, very long. The drive reflex, I, call, I think it's called. Yeah, drive reflex. Wow, impossible to see. Good stuff from Dark Necro. Gonna go completely ham or not? Dark Necro staying relatively nice right now. Got hit by the Stun Dipper. Ron should be able to secure a hard knockdown. What is it gonna be in the mix? Woo! And the bait on the driver flick. Is it the driver flick? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's the driver flick. I'm not 100% sure. Wow. Ooh, and here we go. Going ham. Dark Necro as his opponent where he wants him to be. Ah, Lord, a little bit too far to get that jumping HF, though. Ah, Dark Nero finds the opening. Goes for the standing S, tries to jump on his opponent. Wow, nice box from uh, from Dark Nero, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Marone with the full screen grab, man. That was Ooh, too far for the stun dipper to connect, though. Go with uh, Marone getting hit. I think Pro cannot use the 6 HS in order to cancel into a special anymore. Ooh, ah, and the wake up overdrive for not the kill. Ooh, but Maron being a little bit too greedy right there. Ah, and the overhead for the kill. Only Dark Necro taking the first match. Quite convincingly. Definitely not totally one sided, but ah, you can see that. Yeah, Dark Necro. Dark Necro had the uh, the general advantage during this uh, this match. Let's see how this pans out now. On to the second match. Nice close S again from Dark Necro. Wow, yeah, this is looking pretty good for Dark Necro. Gonna get uh, the corner carry. Yes, the opening. Wow, what the hell? And you're good, Moron and the DP. Don't have to kill. Nice stun dipper from Maron, should be able to get a corner carry. He might want to not break the wall though, but he will. Okay, good stuff. Oh, good lord. Ah, and the far is for the opening and the kill. Dark Necro up one match, one round. Oh, big 2S counter hit right there from Dark Necro. Should be able to get the wall break. Boom! Yes, he does. Oh lord! The mind games are real. Yeah, this is gonna be entire. And a quick second round right there from Dark Negro taking it with a very clean perfect right there. Good lord. 
What are you supposed to do? And on to the next battle. Big far S counter hit right there from Dark Knight Pro. Gonna get grabbed though. It's not over till it's over. Here we go with the wake up. Uh, stun. And uh, I forgot the name. But it's fine. Oh, nice box from Dark Knight Pro. This is this, this gonna kill. Yes, it will. Finally, Moran waking up with a perfect of his own. Oh, Lord. Ah, big 2D counter hit right there from Dark Knight. Bro, gonna get the 2 h just 2 Ah, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Nice grab from Dark Knight. Bro, not enough to kill. Ooh. And your bar from Marone on Wake Up. Gonna get hit by the... Uh, by the punish... It, um, gonna get punished for his grab attempt right there. And on to set point. Is Dark Knight Grove gonna be able to seal the deal? Oh, he's gonna get the, the corner... The corner position. Ah, oh, that was a bad burst. Unfortunate burst from Marone. Some nice checks right there from Dark Necro. How wary of the DP, man. And the double 6 HS. Wow. Nice jump in from Marone. Last chance. Absolutely. No! He drops it, but it works out as in, in his favor, actually. Drops it again, by the way. Oh, uh, it's gonna be. Oh, he should be able to get it. Oh, he, he would have gotten it, by the way. Nice blocks. Please finish your plate. Yes, here we go with Moron securing the first, uh, the fourth match, the third match actually of this set. Whew. Moron still in uh, the game. Let's see if he can seal the deal. Okie dokie, Brendan Cookie on to the next battle. Quick burst right there from Moron. He does have the corner position. Unfortunately, gets jumped on by Dark Dick Roll. Good lord. Ah, nice Thunderbird right there from Moron. Ah, forces Dark Dick Roll to spot the burst. Wow, air Dark Dick Roll and the, cra the Clash, man. Moron still has the, uh, yeah, still has the reflexes to, to, uh, to cancel the Clash into the 6P, which made it so that he was able to uh, enter Dark Necro. Nice cross up. Should be able to get the kill. And yeah, Muron, man. Just waking up. Definitely waking up right there. Good stuff. Oh, here we go. The blocks. Oh, Lord. No, too far for the 6 HS. Let's get the forest, though. Oh, again, man. Muron trying to get that grab. <laughs> trying to get that grab. Oh lord! Oh yeah, Maroon does not want to have to face this mix. Which is understandable. He's gonna get the wall break, but yeah. When you Dark Dicker with all of them resources, this is gonna be pretty hard. Ooh! Nice grab from Dark Dicker, man. He has the kill with the, uh, the far HS. Let's see how this spins out. Wow! I tried to bait a tick. Tick attempt, I'm pretty sure. Nice stuff from Moran. Oh! Almost got the grab. It's not over till it's over. Gets hit by the two HS though. Oh, this is looking pretty bad for them. I uh, tried uh, yeah. Ooh! Ah, uh, that was ah uh, that wasn't necessary, but it's still okay. Maron, man, trying to find the opening, trying to get that golden move. Yeah, he read the backdash correctly. Oh, nice chicks right there from Dark Negro, man. Ah, definitely waiting. Oh, for the stun dipper. No, he drops it. Oh, and he should be able to take it. Yes, Maron, bringing it back, man. Two to two. Definitely does not want to go out right now. He wants to stay in the tourney. Ah, oh, good stuff from Moran, man. One more game. This is probably going to go down to the absolute last round, isn't it? Ah, nice 6 speed though from Dark Knight. We're definitely on point. Ah, yeah, the pressure is real. Again, man. Ooh, too far to get the... Ah, that might have been a, not a, such a good decision. Ah, here we go. The pressure is real. Ah, nice jump in from Maron. Should be able to get the juggle. Yes, he does. Catches the backdash yet again with the twist. Ooh! 
Oh, that was such a... No! Marone! And he gets it with the... Don't drop it! Please don't drop it! Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, Marone plays incredibly well. Okay, please. I know he does. But he drops some really dumb stuff sometimes. But he plays so good. It's so crazy. Marone on match point, bro. On set point. Good lord. Here we go, the blocks. Nice opening right there from Dark Necro. Not out of this yet. Ooh, and here we go, the DP. Catches back that yet again with the 2S. Oh, Lord. No, oh, almost got the kill. One more. Oh, oh no, Dark Necro had it. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Dark Necro wanting to... What the... No, no. No, Dark Necro, not like this. Not like... So crazy. Okay, now to the next battle. Bra versus Eto. Let's see who will come up out on top. We shall see. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go get a glass of water. I'll be right back. Thank you for the wait. Okie dokie, birds and cookie. Let's see how this pans out. And so far, so good for Bra. Managed to get that first uh, round. Ah, but Eto is waking up right now. Oh, goes for the reset with the Gamma Blade. Gets the go, oh, the punish on the burst. Straight into Oto Toy. Come on. Damn, he didn't say it a single time, I feel. Anyways, here we go with the save drop. Here we go with the Gamma Blade. Oh, Lord. Nice use of the drive reflect right there from Bra. And Bra getting that grab. Could have got the kill, but goes for the fake cross up instead for the kill. Nicely done by Bra. Takes the first round, the first map. Okie dokie. On to the second map. Nice checks right there from Bra. I get the. Oh, gonna get the juggle! Ah, nice stuff from bro. Nice air grab. Are you serious? That was sick. Bro on point, bro. That was bro on point, bro. That was sick. Good stuff, man. Oh, and if bro wins this one, he's going to uh, have to face uh, Dark Necro again. That might be interesting as well. That's a match I'd like to see as well. Anyways, here we go on to the next battle. Oh, Lord. Here we go with the close S entire. Ito getting that anti-air into the wall break. Hard knockdown. Oh, and the fake cross up, bro. You're always going to get hit by this. Let's see how this spins out. Nice damage right there for Ito. Just needs one more opening in order to get the kill. Tried to get the 6P. Wasn't quite able to squeeze it uh, quickly enough. But does get the kill off of a Roman cancel extension. Oh lord, bra on point with the entire as well. Wow! We go with the corner pressure, it's real, goes for the freaking wild assault into the grab. Into OTG damage. Wow, yeah, this is death. Straight into the Elysian driver, bra, what did you eat today? Good lord. Good stuff from bra, takes it with the perfect 2 to 0. Let's see if it will be able to find a way to reverse the momentum. It is looking pretty bleak for him, I'm not going to lie. Oh, nice confirms though from Ito. Gonna get the corner carry, preventing Bra from bursting, but just got the burst uh, back just right when I finished uh, talking about it. Anyways, nice inter right there from Bra. Gonna get the corner positioning, finds the opening with the low, and should get the Elysian Driver for a guaranteed hard knockdown with damage that comes with it is he gonna go for a save jump yes he does 
gets the low. Almost got the 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 the, 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 what, the wall bumps as well. The wall bounces, not bumps. <laughs> Anyways, you understand me. Just like this, we are on set point. Eto needs to find something. Needs to get something going. Nice block on the fake cross up though. And ooh, Lord. Eto going for the cross up. Gets the opening. Gets the juggle. Wow, what was that? What was that? Nice Gamma Blade and the wake up overdrive from Raw, man. Look at the damage. Good lord. Ooh. Oh, and the overdrive, the full scream overdrive from Eto should be able to get the kill. Yes, he does. The cojones of this man. Very nice confirm right there from Eto. That bro was gonna go for it. That being said, this is looking pretty bleak for it already in the corner. Woo! Here we go. Oh, I think that was a burst. Yeah, that was a burst. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Nice jumping 2D right there from the uh, two camps. All right. Nice blocks from Bra. Oh, the whiff punishes from this man, though. Ashimoto. Here we go with the Gamma Blade and the punish on the. the, the oh, Lord. The big cross up. He, he couldn't quite get the uh, the 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 side switch though. This is unfortunate for Bra. Oh Lord! Nice counter hit. Oh no! You could have gotten the kill, bro. Nice work, C. Oh wow! The blocks on Bra on Ito, man. Ah Lord! Ito does not want to go. Does not want to let up. Nice cross up. Ah, uh, just one hit is all that is necessary. No! Oh, Eto is he gonna be able to seal the deal? No! Too far, too far. No one did it. Oh lord, oh lord, I can breathe. I can breathe. Oh, and then two came for the kill. Bra takes it three to nil, but it definitely didn't feel like it. Summit versus Hagiara. Winners for now. Let's see how this pans out. Okie dokie, Brids and Cookie Final, here we come! Now we're gonna 6 right there from again, a very nice 6 we're not going to lie! All three uh, Jackal players today have been playing out of their freaking minds, they've been playing so good! Oh, oh very nice grab right there from Hagela, should be able to get the safe jump! <laughs> and here we go with the confirms from Summit, gets the wall break! Hmm. Ah, and finally Summit getting that jump in. Wow, eliminating every single minion there is on the face oh, of the earth. Nice alpha blade. Ooh. Summit being extremely aggressive as he is well known for. Gets the kill. Good stuff from Summit. Gets the first round. On to the second round. Wow, thank you, Minion. Ah, the big two eggs. Uh, jumping 2k, definitely changing the trajectory of Summit when, he's, when he jumps. Making it all the harder for your opponent to, uh, well, to entire you. Oh, Totoi, come on! Finally, we got it. <laughs> Finally. A nice cross up right there from Summit. Should be able to get the juggle. Go straight into the... Uh, Totoi, come on! Again. Ah, you didn't say it. Anyways, what is Hagiara going to do? Banzai for the kill! And Summit taking the first match extremely convincingly, not gonna lie. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, good lord. Okay, man. Summit is so good at killing all of the minions, so crazy. Again, here we go with the Gamma Blade. Nice checks right there from Hagala. Goes for the cross up. Ah, Summit a little bit off on his timing. Ah, to punish. To kill the, the minions. Wow, the fake cross up. And it worked in his favor. Yeah. Ah, nice use of the RC right there. Caught uh, Summit off guard. Summit with the confirms. Goes straight into the Ototoy. Come on! <laughs> It's gonna be the mix. Very nice. Uh, uh, no, he didn't get the juggle. He didn't get the juggle, but it's okay. He got the 2k 2d for the kill. Okay, Hagiara not out of this yet. 
Ah! Trade in favor of Summit, gets the knockdown. Tries to punish the 2k of Ayala. And Summit, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Summit with the pressure, man. Goes for the grab. There we go with the Gamma Blade. Nice 6p. Wow. The coolness on this. Man. Ah, trying to go for the grab, but man, Summit reading it. Nice juggle right there from Hagera. Ah. Ah, the blocks from Hagera, though. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so the pressure is unending. And Summit should be able to take this round. Good stuff from Summit. And on to the next battle. Nice shake right there from Hagera. Ah, Lord. Oh, not only dispatch the minion, but also use the momentum in order to uh, IED right in front of Hagera, right on top of Hagera. Summit with uh, the burst. Ah, with the. Ooh, the. Wild Assault wants to find the opening, but man, look at freaking Hayata blocking everything under the sun. It's crazy, bro. Ah, nice grab right there from Summit, finally finding the opening. Ah, nice use of the RC right there from Hayata. Should be able to get a lot of damage. Ah, goes for the Drive Assault in order to uh, get the hard knockdown. Wow. Ah, uh, is that gonna be enough? Yes, it is! And Hagala taking the second the second match, actually. One match apiece. Good stuff from Hagala. Hagala playing really good today, man. Good lord. Nice check right there. From, again with the checks from Hagala. I go for the cross up. Again with the checks. Oh, and the wake up DP from Summit. Ah. Uh, Surprise! Nice 2 HS right there from Ayala. Summit trying to find the opening using the grab. Oh lord! Oh, we were gonna jump in, but the bag that from Summit goes straight into the overdrive. Ooh. Nice bag dash from Hagala. Is he gonna get the wall break? If he does, this is definitely gonna be good for him. I don't think he will though. Nah, he doesn't. Too far. Oh wow, the 6 speed from Hagala, man. That was sick. Oh, yeah, playing out of his mind, I'm saying. Is he rough? Okay, nice. Uh, just block right there from Summit. Makes it so that he can punish the 2k. Ah, okay, here we go with the jabs right there from Hagela. Tired of getting Gamma Blade all day. And here we go with... Uh, ooh, that back dash from Hagela goes straight into the overdrive. Uh, this is hard. This is... Well, right now it's not still too far. Ah, oh, Lord. And Summit with the grab and this should do... Yes, it is, yeah. Good stuff from Summit. Okay, one match a piece, one round a piece. He's gonna take this one. Big standing H uh, S right there from I get that. Ah, first pop the burst though. Ooh. Ah. Oh Lord. Ah, that is a big for Hagala again with the Illusion Driver. Is he gonna get the wall break this time around? He is. Ah, oh, finally. I thought he wasn't gonna get it. I kept saying, is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Never gets it. Finally gets it. Ooh! And the freaking wall bounce for Hagela, man. It just to take the freaking... The, sec the third match, yo. One match away from Grand Final. Is Hagela gonna be able to do it? Hagela playing out of his mind, bro. No Gamma Blade. Okay. Good check from... Ooh! That was a bad DP. Oh, and that back dash from Ayala goes straight into Elysian Driver. This is like the freaking... This is like the 15th Elysian Driver we saw tonight. <laughs> ah, man, yeah. And Summit not interested in uh, the minion whatsoever. Just interested in hitting Ayala as quickly as possible. 
Ooh. Oh lord. Wow. Ooh, and the minions for the kill. Yo, I get it on a match point, on set point. Yo, is he going to do it? That would be sick. Nice grab from Summit. Not out of this yet by any means. Goes for the low, finds the opening. Gotta get the wall break. Not a hard knockdown though. Oh wow, that was sick. Oh, I tried to go for the uh, instant overhead uh, setup, but I couldn't quite get it to connect. Okay, Summit not out of this yet. Still set point, but... Wow, the forest is definitely working out for... Now, uh, for... No, oh, big 6 speed right there. I tried to go for the grab. Nice check right there. Wow, well, catches the bag dash with the six, the 5 HS. Nice block from Hagela. Tried to go for the grab. Wow, big DP. Wow, the freaking shakes, man. This is so intense. It's so intense. Hagela tried to catch that bag dash. Oh, gets it though. Ah, uh, this is gonna be wall break. Yeah, it goes into the uh, goes into the the wild assault and gets the jump and this should be dead. Yeah, good stuff from uh, Summit. Definitely not out of this uh, by any means. Puts a one on the board again. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this pans out. Oh Lord, no, no six P for you, sir. Very nice cross up right there from Summit. Ah, ah, good shakes from Summit. Gonna get the corner positioning. Goes for the overhead. Ah, big wild assault right there from Hagela. Probably expecting a gamut blade. And uh, instead getting hit by the wild assault. But it's still okay, not over by any means. Oh, that air grab though. Oof. Very nice grab from Summit. Gets the corner positioning. And goes for another grab for the kill. This time around, Summit is on a match point. Is he going to be able to seal the deal? Ah, uh, no punish. Okay, and here we go with Summit for Spot the Burst. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I get up. Failing to actually really trying to. Ah, man. To start his minion game. Ooh, a big jumping 2k. Ah oh, no, he's got the burst. This is bad for Hagela. Very bad, actually. Ah, the 2k man is uh, playing a number on Hagela. Hagela made a lot of efforts, but unfortunately, Okay, so Bra versus Maroon. Maroon, who successfully. Managed to eliminate Dark Necro and Bro, who actually managed to send Dark Necro in the loser's bracket. So both are facing each other right here, right now. Let's see who is going to take it. We shall see. And Bra with the the zoning attempts, but Moron, yeah, really well, very famous for not being able to. Uh, for being extremely hard to jump onto. Oh, managed to find the opening with Stun Dipper. Ah, I couldn't quite get the uh, end of the juggle sequence right there, but is going to get the wall break. Oh, Lord. oh that big close S straight into the Elysian Driver. And draw on point with... Oh man, too many stun dipper. Ooh, big, big, big tap dust right there for the kill. Good stuff from Maron. See how this pans out. Ooh. Ah, the grabs though. Maron is a kite player after all. You are not a kite player unless you are proficient at full screen grabs. Full screen run into grabs. It is a rule of, uh, of Guilty Gear Strive. Wow, the big 2D, man, using the 2D to low profile the firefall attempts from Maron. And bro, going straight into the tab dust, Roman cancel into the punish. And this should be enough. Good stuff from Bra, man. Wow, that was really convincing second round. Good stuff. Let's see how this comes out. Mm. Oh, Maron with the 2S, man, catching all sorts of bag dashes. Goes for the grab. Oh lord! 
あっ and Marone actually ended up with a killing combo by probably mistake what I think but a lucky reset is a reset nevertheless first match goes to Marone back to the zoning game Marone doing a good job of uh Dispatching all of these minions one by one. Manages to bait the burst as well. Very nice tech from Bro though. Again with the grabs, man. Marone always on point with this. He is a kite player after all. With the Fudra Dark. Try to keep that corner positioning. Understanding that the spacing of his uh, stun dipper was a little bit poor. And decided to use the Roman Cancel in order to make it safe. Very nice air to wear. From Marone, gonna get the juggle into the kill. Marone looking very solid right now, not going to lie. Okay, and on. Oof! No, oh, very nice backdash right there from Bra. Managed to get the side switch thanks to it. Gonna get the wall break. Wow. Oh lord! And Marone trying to bait that burst, but yeah, bro, not giving it to them. And understandfully so. Oh, and bro, straight into the tap, tap, the tap, dust. Into the illusion driver, not enough to kill though. Should be put, putting him in a pretty nice position to either chip or six feet. <laughs> okay, bro, one round apiece. Advantage to Marone though, let's have one game. We'll go to post pressure. Oh lord, Ooh, ah, how did Marone know he even gets the side switch thanks to it? Goes for the grab. And here we oh lord, again with the grab. Debra okay, deciding to use the YRC, careful there. Marone does have a DP after all. Bye bye. Nice use of the Akuma Fireball right there from Bro. From, yeah. Ah, Bro finally popping the burst. The minion getting killed one by one though, and closest is going to be the game ender for Marone. Up to 2 0, man. Good stuff. In favor of Marone. Ah, Marone trying to beat that burst though. Ends up being the one to burst. Wow, man, that 2D counter hit is so good for this, man. Very good corner positioning. We're all working very hard to keep Marone in the corner. Finally wake up DP from Marone. He has been, uh... has been pretty, uh... Pretty, uh, nice when it comes to wake up DP and... Oh, with the Elysian Driver, not nearly enough to kill. The parade was way too hot. So with Baron and the tick pressure, the tick throw. Wow, ooh, nice use of the Drive Reflect, right? The Drive Reflect? Not the Drive Reflect. It is definitely not the Drive Reflect. What just was it? How do you call it? I keep forgetting it. Wild Assault. I, I freaking forgot. Wild Assault and what's the other name of the mechanic? Ah, uh, Deflect Shield. Okay, that's it. Right, right. Deflect Shield, yeah. Drive Shield. The hell is Drive Shield? I uh, thanks guys. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I was like, why did I say Drive Reflect and then I remember that place Street Fighter say. <laughs> Where everything is called Drive. <laughs> okay, Deflect Shield. I got you guys. I got you guys. Thanks. Okay, the Flick Shield and Wild Assault, I really need to keep it in my head. Very nice MT grab right there from Malone. Goes for the quick tap dust into Walk of the Victor into the kill. Marone takes it. Yo, Marissa, how are you doing? Welcome to the, to the stream, bro. And we are still moving on to the next battle. Hagiara versus Marone. This is the loser's final. The one who wins this one will have... Uh, the right, the privilege to fight against Summit once more. Let's see if uh, it's gonna be the case. A bit late in this time. Oh, I love season three, bro. I love it so much. 
Like, it renewed my interest, it totally renewed my interest in the game. I find the two mechanics extremely strong to play with. Especially with Eno, I think Eno uh, benefits a lot from both of the mechanics. Uh, even probably more than the, the normal, you know, character uh, from the cast. And um, the new the new move from Eno is just God Sin. It is exactly the type of move that she needed. She needed like a special that made it so that she could reset her pressure or keep the pressure on the opponent without spending bar. And this is exactly that. This is exactly what she needed. So right now I'm 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 just really freaking happy. <laughs> I am extremely happy, yeah, the ag agitado, yeah, it's so good, man. Such a good move, so I have no complaints. At first when I saw the, uh, <laughs> at first when I saw the, uh, the, the patch notes, I was like, oh man, Eno is dead. I really thought she was gonna die, you know? Then they showcased her new move, I was like, oh, it's a guard crush? It's plus on block? It gives her access to high-low mix-up with no bars? I was like, hmm, <laughs> Mm, you know it's gonna be pretty good, isn't she, eh? <laughs> yeah, the characters with the new moves had a lot of- Yeah, they did. Yeah, exactly, that's it, yeah. And so I think it was intended to compensate for the fact that they have, like, a new- An entirely new, you know, um... Well, a new move, you know, a new mechanic in order to apply pressure and whatnot. But all of them ended up- Yeah, no, no, that's so true, you know? That's so true. So, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very satisfied. For now, I'm very satisfied. I do have a- yeah, I do have some issues with certain matchups still. I feel like some characters that were really strong before are even stronger right now. I'm talking mainly about Happy Chaos, for example. I feel like Happy Chaos is really, really strong in this patch. Like, both his close uh, zoning, or well, his close pressure and his uh, uh, full full uh, screen zoning is very good right now, I feel. So, yeah, well, I mean, it is what it is, but um, just it's, it's just pretty hard. I wonder if that zoning bug is actually a bug. I really hope it is. That they'll nerf it or they'll change it. I, I don't know, but we'll see, I guess. Hopefully it's a bug, because yeah. But apart from that, uh... I don't know, apart from that, I really like the game. You know, I really, really like it. I'm, I'm, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, Marisa, don't worry. Uh, I'm probably gonna play sometimes Street Fighter 6, but my main game is definitely gonna be Guilty Gear. Like, there's no... there's no... There, there's no like amb ambiguity over there. Yeah. I'm still gonna keep playing Street Fighter 6 sometimes though. It's fresh game. Yeah, it is, man. It is. Yeah, who, who knows what's gonna happen like two or three months? Maybe I'm gonna be bored from it and I'm gonna replay like Street Fighter 6 like completely full on, you know, uh, try hard mode. But um, for now, like I'm, I'm totally back on Gifted Gear Strive. Um, I'm, this, this totally renewed my, my interest in the game like 200%. Anyways, that being said, we are back on the game, and Hagia trying to make his way towards Maron tries to find an opponent, some, an opening somehow, but yeah, Maron not giving it to him for free. Ooh, the close S counter hit straight into the Illusion Driver. This is gonna hurt like a mother humper. Not gonna kill by any means, but still close enough. And here we go with Hagia trying to. Oof. Right, you get that, ah, uh, get that pressure. Ooh, finds the opening. Oh, couldn't quite get the underground. And a trade in favor of uh, Jacko for the kill. Very nicely done by Hagiara. See if Hagiara can keep it going. Oh, and here we go. Maroon, man, having to, <laughs> having, I was going to say having to endure this pressure, but just as I say this, he just ends up like this DP. <laughs> just DP. Okay, here we go to close pressure. Very nice to be again from Maron. Here we go to close ice counter hit. Good lord. Nice take from Hagera, man. This dude has been on point when it comes to this. Let's see how this pans out. No! The drop from Maron. Uh, oh, very nice check right there from Hagera. Oh lord, air to air Maron is in the house, y'all. Should be. Oh, I ah, wanted to read the burst. Good stuff from Hagera for not having uh, spent his burst meter right there. And good thing for uh, Maron for having been able to uh, seal the wall. Go to far S counter hit. Not enough to kill. The, ah, these minions, they don't want to die. Ah. Ah, and it's back on track. 
Oh lord! Yeah. More on trying to press buttons right there. Gonna get two HS counter. This is big. Oh lord. Nah, I'm around finding the opening with the far S, man. Jack is proud. Jack is Jack OS? Jack is Crouch Pose. <laughs> oh, it's an OS? Jackos, Crouch Pose. Ah, okay, Jackos, Crouch Pose. Yeah, man. Everybody loves it. Well, I think I think you implied that you love it with the skull that you posted. I'm not quite sure. But I love it. I love her Crouch Pose. <laughs> oh, no, and the punish, man. The punish on the YRC. And man, just like this, I got eyes on freaking two up, up two zero. Uh, I'm sorry, not, not, I got up. Uh, Muron putting one on the board. We have one match apiece. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go with the jump. And. I hope I didn't mess up with the score. I do believe it's one match apiece. I think it is. I'm not 100% sure though. I thought that Muron uh, won the first match, but apparently it's not the case. Anyways, here we go to Fudra Dark. Ah, uh, Maron try- Ooh, look, getting sandwiched by- Ooh, yep, by how I get out, but waking up with the DP, of course. Big stun dipper right there. Ooh, getting a nice little, uh, ender right there. Ah, uh, I get it with the side switch. Maron 2. Ah, 2 0, no? I, I think so too, right? I thought so too, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna put 2 0 just in case, but I'm pretty sure that you're right, uh, Skitter. 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 Skitter VR. <laughs> Skyder VR. Anyways, here we go with the, uh, the air to air and Hagiala won the first round of this third match. Oh lord. Oh, okay, nice confirms right there from Hagiala. Forces the. Uh, forces the. Uh, well, the. Um, the burst. Oh, nice stuff from. Man, the standing S from. Uh, from Kai is so quick. It's so crazy, man. So quick. Oh, here we go to jump it. Ah, very nice use of the guard point right there for him. I get up. Oh, get back. Ooh, big six spear right there. Gonna get the juggle. I got the quarter in positioning. Gets the grab. I got it looking pretty good right now. Bow blocks the DP straight into Elysian Driver. Ooh, Lord. Nah. He almost, almost made something bad right there. Good stuff from Hagira. Finally puts one on the board. So let's see how this pans out. I got it down two to one though. Big stun dip right there from Maron Forces. I got to pop the Golden Burst. Big Derek Law and oof. Oh no, too late on the Wild Assault. Okay, he's gonna get it this time around. <laughs> okay, go straight for the overhead and the uh, tick throw for the kill. Good stuff from Maroon. Ah, we'll go with deep. Oh lord. Nice jump in from Maron, gonna get the juggle. Nice confirm again from Maron, man. Ah, he got the bait! No, he couldn't punish it, though! This is unfortunate. Oh, nice jump in from Hagera out of the corner, finally. Yes, some nice OTG uh, damage right there. Ah, Lord. Here we go, we are in the corner. Hayala with the pressure finds the opening, goes straight into Elysian Driver for the kill. Driver! Good thing for Hayala, still not dead, but is, this is still set point for Maroon. Gets the bag dash right there. Gonna get the wall break. Things are looking pretty good for Maroon. That was a pretty tricky Kudra Dark. Tries to get the cross up. <gasps> get the opening with the sun dipper. No, I gotta win the early burst. And this is gonna cost him the game. And Maroon taking it 3 to 1 in the very. Okay, this is the grand final of the 90th 
Brojo Cup, it's gonna be none other than Stummit versus Marone. Let's see how this pans out. We shall see. Marone has been playing exceptionally well during this tournament. Oh, no entire though. Ooh. And here we go. Marone already forced pop the burst. Nice grab from Marone. Marone having only uh, lost to uh, Summit, by the way. Ow. Ah, uh, nice check right there from Marone. Goes for oh, very nice back there from, from Summit. This is crazy, bro. Oh, that far freaking is, and this should be the kill. Yes, it is. Nice first round for Marone. Let's see if he's gonna be able to seal it here. Oh Lord, there you go. Oh, nice punish right there on the two S, the two HS. Went for the fake cross up. Careful, the DP is fine. He's got the grab. Oh Lord! Wow, the DP. That was a big DP. Oh, gets the grab, and just like this, Marone with the first match, extremely convincingly. Not gonna lie. Good stuff for Marone. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, both players playing extremely good. Oh, that was a big DP though. Ah, and the jump in from Summit. Plain, simple. Jump in. Ah, big 6 HS right there from, uh, from Maron. I ah, couldn't quite get any uh, conversion off of this though. Ah, too far for the DP and Summit going straight into the overdrive. And rightfully so. Woo! Big, big, big command grab right there from Summit. Good stuff from Summit takes the first round of the second match. Oh, the empty low, man. Where were you looking at? Okay, good stuff from Summit. Gets the wall break. Nice jump in from Marone gets a full combo off of it. He's gonna do a lot of damage, especially considering how Chip has absolutely no health. Nice cross up from Summit, gonna get the overdrive. Oh lord, these freaking blocks from Marone though. No! Ow, oh, the big DP, wake up! Oh my lord, what is going on? Oh no, that was a bad burst from. Oh no! Marone brings it back! He brings it back from the dead. That was a sick round. That was so sick. Good lord. Marone bringing it back, man. That was sick. That was such a crazy round. Holy freaking lord. <laughs> but Marone clutches it, out, clutches it out, man. That was sick. Good lord. Okay, nice close S right there from Marone. Gets the... Oh, look. Versus the... The burst. Ooh, careful there. Ooh, nice DP. Ooh, that meaty. That me oh, wait, wait, wait. Lord. Yeah, this is so. This is so scary, man. No, no, 6 H. Oh, wow. The standing K for the whip punish, man. Marone up 2 to 0, yo. What the hell? Ooh, wow. That was sick, man. That. That that second round was so sick. Man, I wanna I wanna rewatch this stuff. Man. That was crazy. Okay, quick uh Ah no entire right there from Marone, unfortunately for him. Very big close S right there from Marone though. Goes for the two S to try to capture the bag dash. Nice air to air. No, couldn't quite get it. Ah Lord. No, oh, yes, yeah, big six P right there from Marone. <gasps> Gets the meaty. And goes for the overhead, man! On the verge of resetting the bracket, yo! Maroon playing out of his freaking mind, man! Good lord, goes for the cross-up! No, no, that was an unfortunate DP. And submit with the optimization station, goes straight into the overhead, the overdrive. Good lord! Oof. Big cross up. 
Yeah. Straight again into the overdrive. Nice box from Moron. Couldn't quite get the uh, the entire though follow up. Still fine. Still on a uh, bracket reset point. Wow, air to aerial. Oh, a little too far for the stun dipper. No entire air though. And Summit, man, finding a opening on the 2K 2D. Ah, Lord. Straight into the overdrive again. Marone looking a little bit lost this time around. If she makes the comeback, though, that would be crazy. Okay, big YRC right there from Malone. She needs to make it happen there. Ooh. Ah, uh, this is death, yeah. Well played for Summit, man. Finally put someone on the board, not gonna lie. That was a little bit late. <laughs> Let's see how this pans out. Ah, oh, that was sick, though. Wait, does Marone have another character? No, yeah. Sticking with Chip, uh, with Kai. Ah, immediate burst. Nice six period right there from Marone. Oh, Lord. Nice cross up, very nice for us. Oh boy. Summit, man. Summit. With the mobility. Oh lord, that jumping two kids. Missing of the DP timing of Maroon so bad. Good stuff for um Summit, man. Switching things around. Wow, very nice call out right there from Maroon. Manages to get the full combo this time. Around. Goes for the safe jump. Should get a pretty nice amount of damage. Goes for the wild assault in order to secure. Ah, nice stuff from Maroon. And the reset for the kill. Okay. One round away from a bracket reset. A little bit far for the direct, unfortunately for him. A big DP again from Maron. No, and there. Oh lord, that duty though. Straight into the overdrive. Ooh, nice block. Ah, but yeah, there's only so much you can block. Wow, the air to air though gets the juggle. Wow, wow, how, 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 how. Lord, good stuff from Summit, man. Using the invincibility frames of the backdash and canceling them into a blue RC. Oh, and blue RCing uh, makes it so that he could actually punish the Midi from, uh, from Maron. Okay, not over till it's over though, but. Yeah, some are definitely looking pretty good right now, I'm not gonna lie. Big six uh, period there from... Ah, uh, from Maron. Almost got the well balanced. Ah, nice air. Nice. Oh, Lord! And Summit refusing to block. Summit refusing to block whatsoever. Is that nice on your kill? I don't know. Ooh, what the hell happened? I uh, tried. Well, no, that is the worst thing that could have happened to Summit. He tried to get an air grab, but instead got the uh, the deflect shield, which is really unfortunate for him. Which means that he had to use, like, he unfortunately used half of a burst bar for absolutely nothing. This is unfortunate for him. Oh, nice punish against the grab. Ooh, that check though. Wow, the closest counter hit though. Uh, Maron going for the yeah the the, the what's it called the wall pressure the wall oh uh. nice grab from Summit not over till it's over nice grab it's not over till it's over and the freaking read on the grab attempt here we go we have here we go on to the next battle. We have a reset, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here we go. This is a deep. 
Grand final reset, the one who wins this one wins it all. Ah, I tried to go for the grab, but Summit was definitely looking for it. Well, was looking to it, he wasn't looking forward to it, but wow, straight into the overdrive. Up to take, come on! Who is gonna take it? We shall see. Oh no! The waves though. Ah. Oh lord! Ah, this is, yeah, overdrive time. Bye bye. Oh, did I come? It didn't even kill, good lord. Why? Big DP right there from Summit went deep though. He went super deep, good stuff. Nice air to air from Maron. Summit immediately deep uh, immediately uh bursting uh, does not want to have to deal with anything. Ooh. Nice grab man Maron playing extremely good. Oh okay. yeah. I got the Sun Dipper. Is it gonna be enough? It is not. <laughs> I lied. Two players playing very good. Simple. Uh, standing S for the kill. Good stuff from Maron. Ah, uh, nice checks right there from Maron. I uh, tried to go for the grab, but no. Summit was aware. Oh Lord, you got the Sukiyaki man. We go with the hard knockdown. That was in front this time around. Again with the wild assault. Wants to build as much tension bar as possible. Oh, that grab though. Yeah, this is death. Ah, uh, is it though? Ah, uh, ah, it is death. Yeah, good stuff from Summit, man. Takes the first match. Okay, okay. Summit coming back. Summit wigging up. Ah, uh, nice for us, man. Oh, Lord, the DP is real. With the stun edge. Oh, Lord. Ah, oh, big for us. Ah, oh, Lord. Yeah, you can see Maron having a little bit of a hard time trying to anti air. Summit, and this is basically what's really, really messing up with him. Because uh, Summit tends to either run towards you, IAD, and then do his jumping HS, or, um, or, uh, what's it called? Run towards you, IAD, then re jump and do a 2 HS. Uh, 2, 2, 2, uh, yeah, what am I talking about? Jumping 2K. And so he doesn't, uh, yeah, he IAD. Oh, Lord! Uh, can we see the punish? Lord, oh Lord, unfortunate for Maron. Nice checks from Maron, but not enough. You need to confirm these ones. Oh, is it gonna be enough? Yes, it is. Maron cr clutches it out. Good stuff. Is he gonna be able to take this one though? Ah, big for S counted in there. Okay, good stuff from Summit. Then he has the life lead. Ah, big jump in. Ah, and this is gonna be overdrive time. Ah! Ototoy, come on! Not enough to kill. Wow. Oh, the DP has been blocked! Good stuff from. Oh, I look at the damage, man! I tried to go, he tried to snap it out. Very nice backdash right there from. Summit knowing that Maroon was gonna pop the burst, uh, the, pop the DP. Nice grab from Maroon. And lands up right in front. Uh, no entire right there. Nice blocks. Oh, in the air to air. Finally, Maroon catching Summit, jumping one, too, one way too many times. Ah, should be able to punish. Yes, he will. It's a full punish. And gets the kill with the overhead. Good stuff, Maron puts one on the board as well. One matches a piece. Wow. Good lord. On to the third match. Bad with punish from Summit though. Uh, okay, Maron taking to the skies a little bit more often, trying to prevent Summit to from jumping on him this time around. 
Wow, the standing came out. Good stuff from some from Maron. Wow, big six feet. And Summit should be able to get the wall break. Yes, yo. Wow. Not enough to kill, is it? Uh, oh, he should have went for the overhead, uh, the overdrive really the kill. Big wake up DP from Summit. Nice air to air. Maron takes the lead. At least uh, when it comes to rounds. Oh, okay, here we go. Nice take pressure from Summit. Gonna get the wall break. Ah, the big jump in right there from... Ah, oh, Maron gets... Oh, Lord. Big DP right there from Summit. Doesn't have any bars, but, well, he does have a, a burst in order to secure a hard knockdown. Maron with the 2S to catch the back dash. He has the grab. Oh lord, this is bad. Oh, and Maron takes the lead 2 to 1. He just needs one more match in order to win it. Is he gonna do it? That would be crazy though. Good lord. Oh lord. Nice 6 right there from Maron. Summit answers in due fashion. A big forest counter hit right there from Summit. Nice blocks from Summit though. Recognize it that Maron was definitely going to 6 p his ass. Good stuff. He gets the wall break. Oh, nice back dash from Maron. Oh lord, this is big. And Summit with the overdrive again. Let's see how this spins out. Very nice. Oh, cross up. Maron afraid. Ah, that, yeah. Summit would have, uh, that Summit might have woken up with a DP. Wow, man. The, had the grab, though. They get back in the corner. <laughs> okay, nice blocks from Maron, though. Ah, uh, okay, nice six feet. Ah, Lord. Damn, the recognition station from uh, from Summit, bro. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. ah Lord. A nice. Delayed. Oh, not enough to kill. Big DP. Ah, gets hit by the standing K. The standing K. Very nicely done by Summit. Okay, two rounds, two matches apiece. How is this gonna come? How is this gonna... And man, is Summit gonna be able to clutch it out? Is Marone gonna be able to clutch it out? We shall see in this match. The one who takes this one takes it all. Nice take pressure, no 6P again, man. Uh, ah. Nice box. Ah, and here we go with Summit and the pressure, bro. We go with the Alpha Blade. There's the wall, bro, the wall bounce. What is a mix? Ah, uh, fortunately for Maroni, they didn't block this one. Got it. Yeah, this is it. Okay, Summit on tournament point. Is Maron gonna bring it back? Good lord. A uh, big for S counter as well. Wow, wow, okay, this is new. Nice grab from Summit. Definitely wants to finish it as quickly as possible. Right into the overdrive. What the take? Come on! Is Maron gonna bring it back? Ah, ah this is death. Ah. Yeah, this is definitely death. Well played for Summit. Summit is the Brojo Cup number 90th champion. Very nicely done by him, and but still.